apologies. Yes. We need to fill in us. <laughs> so it means that I'm not good at That's it. Yes. 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 Dimcopter finally lands at use it. Hello guys, uh, welcome to this channel. Welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be showing you this helicopter that was made by Daniel Chingoma. As you can see, so this is the helicopter that he made. It's a, it's a work of art. It's a beautiful. And I'm sure if you are seeing this video, you can agree that how can someone that is in Zimbabwe be able to make such a thing? Look at it, it's amazing. Wow. We have to appreciate that no man can come up with this idea without having understanding in physics and understanding in mathematics and understanding in engineering. Wow, this is amazing. And also you can see that, uh, that flag stripe that really, that really makes the thing look good, doesn't it? The rudders are amazing. And uh, so over there, that's our engine over there. You can also appreciate the effort that she did to, to centrally put the, the engine. You can also appreciate the effort that he made to put the engine at the center, so that distributing the weight, that is amazing. So, hmm, I'm not quite sure if this thing actually run. Do you think this thing actually run? Just tell me in the comment section what do you think. Do you think that this thing actually ran? Wow, this is amazing. Ah. That flag color, those flag colors, they really bump up the, the look now. Nice. So it's called Z Zimcopter, as you can see here. Zimcopter. Wow, this is an amazing work of art. Let's look at the front. The windows, though, they, they are not his best work. The windows. So, this is the front. Let's try to look at inside. So, I'm sure this was supposed to be a four-seater. Yeah, and that's the control over here. And look at the, the wires. Ah, how did you connect all these wires? Amazing. So that's our cockpit. And... Wow. Okay. So the floor is made of wood. Here. I'm sure there were two seats here. Here and here, they were removed. So this is a four-seater. The engine is the thing that is exciting me the most. Probably that's our exhaust. Look at this. These are the shocks over here. Wow. Amazing. Let's look at the front. Look at the front shocks. Ah, how do you think of this? Look at this. Just look at this. So probably that's our little wiring over here. Maybe these are electrical components. So these are our front tires. Hmm. They seem to have enough pressure. Wow, this is amazing. 
Yes. Ah, monosuka. So Wow. This was something. So that's Zimcopter. Zimcopter DC15. Taisek Engineering Private Limited. So right there, that's our engine. And those are the roads. But I do think that you could have used lighter materials. I don't know, what do you think? So this is the inside here, and that's the cockpit over there, the front. I am liking that flag look. Those colors of the flag, really patriotic. I like that. So this is, this is something, this is something new. I'm sure that this is something that Zimbabwe needs right now. Some innovation to take us further. Wow. Could have thought that something like this could come out of a man. Someone like Daniel Chingomo. Well, as for me, I'm not sure if it is any consolation, but I just want to say, well done, Daniel. So for the windows, is it plastic? Yes, for the windows you use the plastic material. So over time, the plastic material kind of gets dull, but I'm sure uh, if it was glass, it could have worked better. So does this thing actually change? Yes, it turns. Wow, this is amazing. So here is the wire that are holding the rotors in place so that it does not actually move. So that it is not swinged by the wind. And uh, that's Zimco Zimcopter. What a beauty. It's a beautiful thing, as you can see. It's an amazing thing. Wow. Well done, Daniel. Well done. This is amazing. I'm very, very inspired. Very inspired. So these are for the controlling. So if it is like this, it means that air will be hitting against this. So that if air is hitting against this, it will force the, the nose of the helicopter to move, up, to move upwards. Therefore, this will promote uplift. Yeah. Wow, that's clever. You can really appreciate physics. You can really appreciate mechanics looking at this thing. So that's our engine. I'm not quite sure which type of engine that you used. So that's our engine over there. Let me just... That's our engine. I'm not quite sure which type of engine that you used. Is that an engine? Where did you get this engine? Anyways, wherever you got it, I'm sure it was worth it. Well done. That's amazing. I like to just to appreciate that the engine is placed directly where the, these, these wheels are so that it distributes the weight so that the weight is evenly distributed on the wheels 